Gentlemen, this is Mantelligence, and if you've watched our other videos, you already know how to make a girl want you. But the skills you'll learn in this video will help her want you even more. What if I told you you could actually have women chasing you, beating down your door, and lining up for your affections? Sounds like the holy grail, right? Having the power to know how to make any girl fall in love with you. Well, this week we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to take you way back to my college days and share a few mistakes about what to do. Without further ado, join me in the Wayback Machine and meet Larry. Number 5. Get Inside Her Head Larry was my college roommate, but it's not his real name. His real name is Beardy. Oh, uh, sorry. Larry spent the vast majority of his time chasing girls. It was actually his major, and he really sucked at it. I mean, he was all right with the chasing part, but damn, he was terrible at the catching part. We shared a class together, Psychology of Personality, which Larry, being Larry, never attended. He was too busy chasing, but if he had ever attended class, he would have learned some of the psychological tricks to get her to like you. Instead, Larry missed that lecture and ended up wasting all his time trying the same old tactics that never, ever worked. In fact, all the tricks to get a girl to chase you basically lie in her subconscious mind. You need to trip those triggers. How, you ask? If you're too overt, then she knows she's prey. You have to dangle just enough intrigue out there to make her think she's the predator. Just remember to keep your head and control the conversation if you want to get inside hers. Number 4. Be Mysterious See, Larry, with his monkey mind, was prematurely incapable of being discreet, which was a shame because I had to constantly listen to him complain about how he was striking out all the time. If Larry had known better, he would have realized that he was coming in way too strong and he needed to be more aloof in his approach. Aloof, yes, that's sexy. It even rolls off the tongue in a sexy way. Aloof. Anyhow, being aloof or acting uninterested in your surroundings and keeping quiet is a highly effective way to make women ask, Hmm, what's up with this guy? And most women will try to figure out the answer for themselves. Here's the key. The less information you give, the more they want. Number three, mirroring? Meh. Another excellent lesson I've learned that Larry missed was how to use body language tricks to make her chase you. There are countless subtle cues you can use to make sure it goes subconsciously into you. The most well-known is mirroring, which means there's a pretty good chance she knows about it too and it won't always work. And at Intelligence, we're not about tricks for tricks sake, we're about what works. So try a few more practical body language tricks to make her want to want you. The first, every time you look into a mirror or your reflection in the window, Y you know you do it. Remind yourself to push your shoulders back and relax. It seems obvious, but standing erect is a bigger turn on than you think. But it takes quite a bit of muscle memory for it to become a natural habit. We've all spent too much time slumped over a computer or a keyboard, but practicing good posture is well worth the effort if you want to get girls to chase you. Making eye contact is also a huge turn on because it shows a girl you're listening. By now, you're probably thinking that these body language tricks to get girls to chase you aren't anything you haven't heard before, which is true. That's the thing. You're hearing them again because if you're anything like Larry, you need to hear them again. Guys, I know we're delving deep into the psyche of the opposite sex. What makes them tick? What makes them look in your direction and say, yeah, I want that. But when trying to make a girl want you more and more, it's just as important to know what will instantly shut your efforts down as it is to know what will set you up for success. So stay tuned to the end of this video to learn the one absolute no-no when it comes to the female subconscious. Number two, dress to impress. Now, this doesn't mean you need to blow a whole month's rent on your outfit. In fact, dressing too nicely can actually be a turnoff. See, Larry dressed flashy. Well, honestly, ostentatiously. And in most instances, it was just too much. There's no need to go overboard. In fact, you want to dress just well enough and infrequently enough to give you the self-confidence to be attractive when you need it, but not frequently or flashy enough to turn you into some holier-than-thou asshole. Remember, you want to tap into our subconscious, not slam it with a hammer. And that's why you should take a look at today's video sponsor, Thursday Boots. This is one neat little trick when getting girls to chase you. When girls are shy, nervous, or on defense, where do they look? Down. Exactly. And that's where they're going to make eye contact with your Thursday boots. Boots that say you're dynamic and you know how to put yourself together. Thursday makes excellent, rugged, long-lasting boots that don't break the bank. I love them, but if you don't believe me, you might believe the more than 20,000 five-star reviews they've racked up. But quality boots aren't the only dressing tricks we have lined up. You should also deck out your wardrobe in blue. Why? Numerous scientific studies have shown that women are subconsciously attracted to men wearing blue. Blue projects qualities of stability, faithfulness, 
playfulness and a sense of always being there. So needless to say, blue should be your go-to color. Plus, blue would look great with a brown pair of Thursday boots. Oh, that too. Thursday Boots offers free shipping and returns on handcrafted Goodyear welt boots made with premium USA leather starting at $149. You have to dress to impress, fellas. Click on the link in the description box to get yourself some Thursday boots. Number one, here's the deal. All right, guys, it's Kay here for the big one. If you really want to make a girl crazy for you, you've got to stop it with the lies. See, girls want stability and faithfulness. They're looking for someone they can trust. And a guy like Larry, who's always working some silly angle, immediately puts their guard up. So what do you do? Just be honest. Women, and men as well, find honesty to be quite the aphrodisiac. That's because when we're getting to know someone, we want to know who we're talking to and where we stand with them. Of course, we've all been too honest with a person we like at least once. So remember our second tip in this video, leave a little bit to the imagination and be mysterious. If you're too honest about how you feel about her too early, she may not feel the same about you just yet, which will force her to make an uncomfortable decision. So in essence, be honest about who you are, but don't make her feel like she has to decide how she feels about you until you know she likes you which usually happens after three or four dates. If she knows she can trust you, it'll only make her want you more and more. The number one turnoff to avoid at all costs. Guys, by now you should be masters of the female subconscious. Maybe not PhD level yet, but enough to get the job done. But now we need to get real and talk about the one thing you just can't do if you want girls to chase you. Blowing your stack. Now, if I know one thing about the monkey mind, it's how distracted it can get. This distraction causes a lot of unnecessary temper tantrums. There are plenty of instances in life where getting angry is completely appropriate. But more often than not, flipping out is just projecting that you're a liability. This goes for bar fights, road rage, jealousy, and the like. Much better just to keep your cool, count to 10, and be the bigger man. Being a tough guy for no reason isn't a turn on. It's a lawsuit waiting to happen. Gentlemen, today we're showing you 10 ways to make a girl lose her mind with how much she wants you. For every woman, there exists a precise combination of actions, an exact sequence of events that can cause her to be completely, utterly, hopelessly infatuated with you. The only thing is, most of the time the sequence of events isn't very obvious. Well, today, we're going to show you how to crack the code. And because we don't want women putting up the blinders as soon as you start trying, we're also showing you the number one thing you can do to go from being the most wanted man in town to being a guy nobody remembers. Let's dive in. Number 10, fuel the fire. This is where it starts, and if you skip this part, you're gonna miss out on the potent chemistry that'll make everything else a whole lot easier down the line. Think of it like this. Attraction sometimes needs a jump start, and that jump start is only possible by making a girl ask herself one simple question. Does he like me? No matter where it ultimately goes, it all starts with a girl being curious about you. So your first job is to remember to plant the seeds of intrigue. How? We'll be showing you some of the ways to do that here in this video. But the easiest way is this. Don't worry if a girl suspects you might like her because of something you do. Maybe you like her, maybe you don't. Either way, now you've got the perfect jumping off point to get started. Number nine, look at her like you want her. What if we told you that girls can feel the weight of your attraction to them through eye contact alone, and all you've got to do is try not to hide it? When you look at a girl as you're feeling most attracted to her, she'll notice and she'll melt. It's impossible not to. But the trick is it's got to be genuine genuine attraction, and it's got to be eye contact alone. Under no circumstances shall you do anything that diminishes the power of your eye contact in that moment. Girls want guys to be attracted to them. Of course they do. They also want to know you like them before they commit to anything. What they don't want is for guys to come on too strong. So by letting your look do the talking, you align yourself with everything a girl wants. And since you're not giving too much, you make her want you to give her even more. Number eight, don't put a label on it. With labels come rules, and as soon as you've got rules, things become a little more formal and a little less fun. Now, that's not to say that being in an official relationship isn't fun, but there's a reason why most couples look back fondly on their early days. The late nights, the unpredictability and spontaneity, the secrecy, all the elements that create the excitement and unrelenting attraction that a girl can feel for you when your two worlds collide. So, how do you keep the good times rolling? Keep it low key. Hide it from friends, rendezvous in secret, sneak kisses in public. Do these things and we guarantee you'll build a bond together that will forge intense, long-lasting feelings of attraction between the both of you. Number seven, steal a car together. Okay, wait, before you commit Grand Theft Auto, don't actually steal a car. What we meant to say is that when you're with a girl, if you're not doing anything exciting, she's not gonna be excited to hang out with you again. So instead of Netflix and chill, try something a little more dangerous, like ziplining, go-karting, or an amusement park. Whatever you do, you 
have to get her blood pumping if you want her to want you. Because according to science, when humans are excited or scared, they find the opposite sex more attractive. So get wild with her. She'll get excited and attribute that feeling to you. Plus, Netflix and chill can always come later. Number six, know where she's coming from. Everybody knows girls develop faster than boys, and in the dating world, it's no different. Not only do girls typically go on more dates, they also go on more bad dates. And by bad dates, we mean going out with guys who are freaking pine nuts weird. So understandably, a girl's gonna be a little weary of you when you first hang out. So what can you do? Just show her you're cool by letting her be in the driver's seat. Hands off. But here's where things get complicated. Most guys know not to be a weirdo. In fact, they do everything they can not to be one. The thing is, everybody's got a different definition of weird. What's one girl's weird might be your Tuesday night. And not only that, most guys tend to overcorrect to seem less creepy and end up just seeming more weird in the process. So what are we saying? Don't overthink it. Make her feel safe, but don't be overbearing. Show her you're in control, but don't be controlling. The more you can do that, the more comfortable she'll be. Hey guys, if you like our stuff, keep watching because we've got five more tips to get a girl to want you and the number one thing a guy can do that will have immediate negative consequences. So stay tuned. Okay, on to number five. Number five, vocal charisma. The fact of the matter is this, there's no way to get a girl to want you and only you unless you offer something rare. In general, it works like this. A girl who thinks you're attractive thinks you're more attractive than everyone else. A girl who finds you hilarious thinks she won't find anyone funnier. Whatever a girl finds in a guy, to her, it's rare. And what may be one of the rarest qualities of them all is charisma. That stuff is hard to come by. Like confidence, charisma takes time to master. But there's one thing you can do to get it into gear today. One of the most overlooked ways of exuding natural charisma is to avoid speaking in monotone. It seems inconsequential, but you'd be surprised how many guys drone on and on in the same flat tone. By adjusting your timing and varying the pace and intensity of how you speak, you'll immediately double your charisma levels and create a varied sound that commands attention and is irresistible to girls. Number four, do the dance. If a girl already knows she wants you, she'll give you the signs. When this happens, mention that thing that two people do when they like each other and want to have fun. You know, dancing. Obviously, you shouldn't bring it up out of the blue, but if the conversation is headed in that direction, discreetly ask her about the craziest place she's ever danced or what her favorite dance moves are. Because for a girl who likes to dance, talking about it will inevitably make her think about it, and it might get her in the mood to do some dancing. And she's gonna need a partner. Number three, callback. At the end of the day, most girls, and people really, simply want to be heard and remembered. It might seem like a low bar, but when a girl's friends routinely forget about stuff she tells them, it can be a refreshing, surprising experience for Mr. Random to remember her name, let alone something she said. You don't need to be obvious about it, but if you can remember something a girl said a few weeks ago, like an upcoming job interview or a birthday, you can be sure she's gonna remember you. Number two, your phone is not your friend. In this day and age, we can communicate with anyone we like in a matter of seconds, and you'd be a fool not to take advantage of that, right? Whoa, not so fast. Remember, we're not just trying to get on a girl's radar, we're trying to get her to want you. Entirely different thing. And overutilizing your phone might hurt that. This is a tough one for some guys, and impossible to avoid for others. So all we'll say is this, your phone has the potential to kill your allure if you're not careful. We're not saying it will, but it exposes you to oversharing and over communication, which is the antithesis of everything needed to be the apple of your girl's eye. Number one, be an idea man. You've probably read the following quote somewhere on the internet. Small minds discuss people, average minds discuss events, great minds discuss ideas. Which sounds good until you realize Eleanor Roosevelt was just trying to hurt your feelings. <laughs> There are ideas for minds of every size, and whatever they're about, don't be afraid to share. This is the final part of getting a girl to want you, being relatable. If all you talk about is a single set of ideas, you become either inaccessible or not worth it. On the other hand, if you're the kind of person who can talk to anyone about anything, you've got one of the most coveted personality traits there is. So don't hold back. Don't dismiss a conversation with anybody, and watch as girls and anybody else vies for your attention. As promised, let's get into the real reason you stuck around. The number one thing you can do to make a girl decide you're more trouble than you're worth. When you finally get a girl to be interested in you, you might be inclined to suppress your personality, which quite frankly is normal for just about everyone. People get nervous and nobody wants to get hurt, so they filter themselves and sometimes even agree with things they normally wouldn't. But eventually your true self will have to come out, and if you're not careful, you might get so comfortable with her that you become an entirely different person. Maybe you've suppressed your anger problems the entire time, or maybe you're just plain annoying when you're comfortable with people. Whatever the case, if you're not yourself in the early stages of a relationship, 
she'll be wondering why the guy she's breaking up with is entirely different than the one she fell for in the first place. Gents, we got real this week. Hopefully you've learned from my sage-like wisdom and the disastrous results of my monkey-brained compadre. I hope you've come away with some actionable behaviors, and I certainly think you should get yourself some new boots from our sponsor, Thursday Boots. It's the least you can do. Thanks for watching.